Hello everyone. So let's start with pipes in series or compound pipe. Two or more pipes of different diameter connected end to end to form a single pipeline is known as pipes in series. Now this pipes can be of same or of different length. So as you can see in the image here, there are three different pipes having three different lengths such as L1, L2 and L3. Discharge to all the pipes is same. Q1 is equal to Q2 is equal to Q3 is equal to Q. Total loss of head is sum of losses in all individual pipes and fittings. So the total head loss that is H will be equal to HF1 plus HF2 plus HF3. This three contribute to major loss and plus minor losses. And this over here states if there are num more number of pipes, we need to take head losses from those pipes also. So HF1 is head loss due to friction in pipe 1, head loss due to friction in pipe 2 and head loss due to friction in pipe 3. For the given figure, I can say the total head loss is 0.5 V1 square upon 2G that is due to entry. 4 F1 L1 V1 square upon 2G D1 this is due to friction loss in first pipe. Then due to sudden contraction that is 0.5 V2 square upon 2G plus 4 F2 L2 V2 square upon 2G D2 this is due to the friction in pipe 2. Next due to sudden expansion that is V2 minus V3 the whole square upon 2G plus the friction loss in pipe 3 that is 4 F3 L3 V3 upon 2G D3 and last V3 square upon 2G which is due to exit. If all the minor losses are neglected this 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 and this if it is neglected then we get the head loss only due to friction which is h is equal to 4 f1 l1 v1 square upon 2g d1 plus 4 f2 l2 v2 square upon 2g d2 plus 4 f3 l3 v3 square upon 2g d3 now sometimes 4F is also taken as F which is known as friction factor. Next is equivalent pipe. Compound pipe consists of several pipes. So now what is happening in equivalent pipe? What we do as we studied in the last slide in compound pipes the length of the pipe is different. Sometimes diameter of the pipe is also different as we can see over here. We have three different pipes from A till D in length this is D1 this is D2 and this is D3 in equivalent pipe what we do is we replace three different pipes of different diameter into a single diameter of same length so over here what happens L will be equal to L1 plus L2 plus L3 which can be seen over here. Compound pipe is replaced by a pipe of uniform diameter having loss of head and discharge equal to loss of head and discharge of compound pipe. So over here loss of head and discharge will be equal to loss of head and discharge in this pipe. So taking total head loss in compound pipe while neglecting the minor losses we get h is equal to the major loss is happening due to friction so this becomes 4 f1 l1 v1 square upon 2g d1 plus 4 f2 l2 v2 square upon 2g d2 plus 4 f3 l3 v3 square upon 2g d3 assuming f is equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 and also we know the formula for discharge is Q is equal to A into V. So this can be written as therefore V is equal to Q upon A. And for a circular pipe A is nothing but pi by 4 into 
d square so the formula for velocity becomes q upon pi by 4 into d square so over here it is v1 is equal to 4q upon pi d1 square v2 is equal to 4q upon pi d2 square v3 is equal to 4q upon pi d3 square putting the value of velocity in head loss equation the equation becomes h is equal to 4 f1 l1 in place of v1 we have substituted the value that is 4q pi d1 square and it was v square so taking the whole square over here so now this 4 square becomes 16 q square becomes q square pi square becomes pi square and this d1 square becomes d1 raised to the power 4 and this d1 it completely becomes d1 raised to the power 5 so taking common term from all the three terms we get h is equal to 4 multiplied by 16 f into q square upon pi square into 2g in the bracket l1 upon d1 raised to the power 5 Plus L2 upon D2 raised to the power 5 plus L3 upon D3 raised to the power 5. This is for compound pipe. Now head loss in equivalent pipe becomes the head loss formula becomes 4F LV square upon 2GD. So again we have V is equal to 4Q upon pi D square. So after substituting the value, we get 4 into 16 into f into q square upon 2g pi square into l upon d raised to the power 5. Equating both the head loss equation, that is for compound pipe and that is for equivalent pipe. Now from this, this whole term gets cancelled and we get l upon d5 is equal to l1 upon d d1 raised to the power 5. Plus L2 upon D2 raised to the power 5, plus L3 upon D3 raised to the power 5, and this equation is also known as Dupuis equation. Let's start with pipes in parallel. The purpose of parallel pipe is to increase the discharge of the fluid. For parallel pipes, Q is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3 and so on. We can see over here the discharge over here. is q beyond section 1 it gets distributed in two different pipes from this side and from this side so the discharge q1 and q2 again meets at section 2 and it is again the total discharge so it can be written as total discharge q will be equal to q1 plus q2 and so on head loss through each branch is same hence hf1 will be equal to hf2 will be equal to hf3 and so on so if we equate hf1 and hf2 since there are two pipes so we will be equating hf1 and hf2 so the head loss due to friction is given by the formula 4f1 l1 v1 square upon 2g d1 will be equal to 4f2 l2 v2 square upon 2g d2 So from here, if F1 is also equal to F2, that is the coefficient of friction is same for both the pipes, 4F1 and 4F2, and 2G and 2G from this side gets cancelled. So the remaining equation is L1 V1 square upon D1 will be equal to L2 V2 square upon D2. Thank you.